already prepared mold even before i start my mold is already ready and this is my bubble wrap okay when i got from muslia organics i'm going to make use of it order of how i'll put them my palm oil and palm kernel oil okay my bleached palm oil and palm kernel oil here four liters my caustic soda i've not yet soaked it in water my alcohol my sugar i'll turn this to warm sugar solution my glycerin you can also use propylene glycol for more transparency here the sugar you can use sorbitol for more transparency my honey and my perfume okay so i'm going to warm up my steric acid so this is my steric acid in the pot okay so i'm on the fire i'm going to melt it with some bit of oil so i'm going to fetch a little bit of oil and pour here now so i'll just pour a little bit of my oil what i'm going to use and make my soup i'll pour it like it's not up to a liter but it's more than half a liter okay so i'll cover it and allow it to melt i'm pouring in my water now And then now on my fire. Meanwhile, this has melted, so I'll soon remove it. Okay. So while they're on fire. While they're on fire, I'm going to now pour in my measured water into my caustic soda. Okay. I've already calculated the amount of water I need. So my caustic soda. It's almost finished, so it became lumps because it came in contact with a little bit of air. Okay, it came in contact with a little bit of air. So, but I will keep on mixing since it is an endothermic reaction. It gives off heat. The heat also will eventually melt it up. Okay, so I'll keep on stirring. Okay, and please do avoid the fumes coming out. You can see it's dissolving. I wear the fumes coming out because if you give out heat, my windows are open. But you can do this outside. You can see it has even dissolved. So I will keep it aside to turn clear while I'm doing the checking on my sugar solution and my melting steric acid. I'm going to carry my melted steric acid with my oils and I'll turn it into this. Okay. Turn the routine in. So I'll mix to make sure they all incorporate. Okay. Meanwhile, my light water has cooled down. Okay. So we'll continue now. For my honey, I'm going to pour it into this bowl and then add water to it okay so i'm pouring all of my honey so i'll add water to it to dilute it a bit so i'm pouring water actually dissolve the little honey in the container stay it up now I'll stir it up until it is all dissolved. Okay. So now the next thing we'll do is to carry our steric acid and turn it into our remaining oils. We are going to do that now. So my sugar solution is ready. I brought us my Nigerian women. I didn't use anything, it's hot, but I used my bare hands. So what I'm going to do now is to pour my caustic soda into my warm oils, okay? And as you can see, I'm wearing my gloves. You can even see the shoes I'm wearing. I usually use rubber shoes, but I also have this 
old shoes on my husband. My husband's old canvas shoes. He used it for football, but now they are a bit old, so I do use them also for soap making. To avoid any kind of spillage, okay? Since I'm doing it on the floor, even if I were doing it on the tabletop, I'll still do that. So as you can see, I'm pouring in my caustic soda slowly. Don't just carry it and boom, boom like that. Pour it slowly, stir, slowly stir. To avoid volcano, just in case. Okay? As I'm stirring, you can see it's becoming thicker. And you might not be able to see it from the video, but there are signs of uh, slight signs of separation. Okay? But don't worry, all that will clear up. Because I don't want to keep on mixing and mixing and mixing, I just got my industrial mixer. I did mix it at a high speed. I just touched a little bit to mix it up and mix it up. Mix it up all, so that I don't keep on mixing and mixing and mixing. I also put a little bit of signs of separation. So I just used it just for a little while, then I stop. If you're making a large amount, you might actually need to use this so you need to be spreading it up especially if you're making let's say up to about 100 liters or there about you definitely need a mixer and you don't have to use this mixer it's not a lot it's just that i don't want to spread too long and even if you're using a mixer don't spread too long because you dispel the little heat that you have so you cover it up so that it warm up and cook up it cook up itself and then you come back later so now this is after some few minutes as you can see from the transparent bowl the soap has liquefied a bit and it has traced so what i'm doing now is i'm pouring my glycerin into my alcohol this was this glycerin will help keep the glycerin the alcohol down and reduce its evaporation rate so, and as you can see, I'm always covering my alcohol because you know it's volatile. The reduced evaporation, it's evaporation rate. So, you can see my soap now. I'm going to pour in my alcohol and glycerin mix a little at a time. You also do this slowly, please, because this can also cause volcano. Okay, especially in soap that is very hot. Okay, especially in soap that's very hot. This is a semi-hot process, so the heat is not as much. But in as much as that, you do all you can to reduce too much loss of heat. Okay, so I'm putting in a little bit at a time and stirring. So when you're done, you still cover up your container again. After some time, you will actually see steam on the cover of the bowl. Okay? And you will notice as you're pouring in your alcohol, your soap will turn into a more darker brown color. That is not a problem. Okay? So, I still want to use the mixer to mix it. Just to our alcohol is rather tight. And if you mix for too long, you can it in the So just a short while. And as I said earlier on, you don't have to use this mixer, okay? I'm just doing it to make work easy for me. I don't want to be stirring too much. And as per the bubbles, don't worry. You can easily spray alcohol on them and they will disappear. As you can see, mine have disappeared. And another way you know that your transparent soap is on track is you are supposed to see this leather this kind of leather on top of the soap that it also needs to aside okay so now i'm pouring in my warm sugar solution and i'm pouring it in all so now i'm ready to pour in my diluted um honey 
I've, I mixed it up with a little bit of distilled water, okay? So I'm pouring in my honey and I'm mixing it in. Please don't use too much honey. Remember your honey is a sugar too, okay? Don't use too much honey, okay? Just use the right amount of honey that you're supposed to. Over and keep aside for some few minutes. You can actually see the cream on the cover. Now our looky soap is ready. You can see, you can see the way it has formed that leather on top. It is done. Okay. Just mix it up a little bit. Put on your perfume. Put in your perfume, and you're done. Simple and short. So now they are going to perfume. I'm using two different types, and um, I will say I use quite a lot of perfume in this batch because now that the soap has solidified and I molded it, the scent was too much. It was too much. Not too much. It was much, sir. Uh, because I used um, I didn't use normal perfume. I used uh, this. Uh, more expensive high grade perfumes so just a little goes a long way so that's what i did give it a good mix 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 So we are ready to go pour in our soap now. Make sure you get a, a mold lining that has no hole. If not for the soap, eh, hey, you will regret. As you can see, I poured in some of the water to see if there's any leakage before I continue the routine. Because if this soap starts leaking, even if there's a small hole, it will continue like that to no go stop. So make sure you get the lining that doesn't have a hole at all. The best is if you can even get a silicone mold. If you can get a big silicone mold, that will do. You can leave your soap and in the next 24 hours, it is solidified. Remember to spray the top with alcohol to dislodge the bubbles. And I put on this um, bubble wrap just to give it a nice design on top. To give it like the design of a beehive, okay? So that's just it. This is after 48 hours. It is very strong. You see our transparent soap. You can see the transparency. You can see the transparency.